Um, did Mint Mills ever call you after that? I talked to Meek after the battle. After the battle, what mm-hmm. did he say? He told me he was about to change Snoop's life. Yep. And what did that. you say to him? I was just like I, I'm like I'm telling y'all. I was like, y'all see this shit. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Wow. You know what I love? Because anytime we've had three people pass away from um, that been on our set, right? And like, I t- like the last person that passed away was Walk With Jordan. And when we go back no, in. when it was Strap. Strap, yeah, you're right. But when we go back and we look at their videos, because we always talk about God with everybody. Mm-hmm. And I just love to hear that they believed in God. They knew who God was. You know what, that, that like makes me feel happy, although they're gone, because it's sad when somebody passed away and don't know God. You know what I mean? So I feel sort of like a relief. Like yeah. I know where they are. Right, and what I'm grateful for is because even the stories on the road um, have been told to me that they would walk in and check on him and he was on his knees praying, so he didn't leave that. Mm. He didn't leave yeah. and go there and not I do keep that. it up. So it's like, you know, different artists um, that he was around, different friends he was around, he still prayed. I spoke at a juvenile detention center in March, I believe it was, and the uh, supervisor told me that Snoop got into it with some guy in the gym, and he had a fight with them. He's like, you know, I'm going to run into him when I get in there, right? So <laughs> they have a fight. He said, and I went in there to, you know, check on him after the fight, and he was on his knees praying. So that's why wow. I said, just hearing those testimonies from, that just let me know that he didn't leave. And they say that you... You know, the kid, if you raise them right, they won't stray away. So he knew one thing, like me taking him to church, that didn't go in vain. Mm-hmm. You know, me making sure we at that altar, He, if he didn't do nothing else, he prayed. I can't ask for nothing else. That's, That's real. real. That's so real. Um, so when he wins this battle, the next step is you you win a battle. Now you like, okay, now I won that battle. Is he thinking I'm going to do me a project or a song after that when, when he comes back home? How was it when he came back? He came back home, and this is the thing. When you're in a small town, everybody can't handle fame. That's right. His team, some of them, it's not everybody, but they couldn't handle it. They wasn't used to that. Snoop was like, everybody done got comfortable, like we made it. He said it's so much work to do. He said we haven't even got started, so he had to fire some people. Who was all on his team in the beginning? Was it just family members or friends? It was just family. His engineer, and then he had hired my cousin as a manager. Okay. So other than that, he didn't have a big, big team, but at the same time, he knew with business, you know, it was a business thing. And he wasn't signed like right away at that time, right? No, he didn't get signed right away. Okay, so um, did Mint Mills ever call you after that? I talked to Meek after the battle. After the battle, what did he say? He told me he was about to change Snoop's life. Yep. And what did you say to him? I was just like I, I'm like I'm telling y'all, I was like. Y'all see this shit? <laughs> <laughs> like that's all I could think of. Like I really can't tell you because. You know, that's been some years ago, so I can't even detail and try to make up nothing. I don't really remember. Right. I just remember him telling me he was about to change his life. Mm. Mm-hmm. Man, you know, that's that's heavy. But he gets back. He has to get rid of some of the people on his team. What is this for in his mind? And what he, what does he tell you? Like, I'm ready to uh, go forth with, with, with a project or I'm going to do a song. Or what was the thing that he was focused on when he got back? See, the thing is, um, the demo that he gave me, that was a mixtape that he was about to release okay, in December. Okay. So that was his first that project. Was his first he was project. already working on it, right, and being serious. Um, I remember even putting out songs, which songs I'm thinking is a hit. He wasn't satisfied with them. Yeah, yeah. And he kept saying, Mom, I just need that hit. Yeah. You know, that's what he just, he said, yeah, he said, but it's all, that's good, but I just need that one hit. Yeah. So that's what he was just working on, just getting that one hit. Yeah. And I just feel like he got stolen from that. Wow. When, when you. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.